and Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. I think I've got some good news for you. Well, it could be good news for some. Apparently, um, this guy called Barreto, he overturned a court. Well, he was being put, let me st let me get back to the beginning. I think it's quite interesting how um, the rule of law works. Now, you know you're not supposed to be using a phone while you're driving. So apparently, you're not supposed to be talking on the phone, having interactive con conversations on the phone, and you're not supposed to be texting on the phone. But so, <laughs> this guy's filming a car accident. So he's filming a car accident. The police see him. And they convict him, and he's supposed to get a fine, £200 fine, and six points on his license. Anyway, he gets these lawyers, and apparently, because the way it's worded under Article 118 or something, they cannot, um, he cannot be convicted because he wasn't interacting on the phone. And apparently, filming an accident, he was actually filming a serious accident. And so they, they got it overturned. So now they're having to rewrite the whole of that law to do with how you use the phone. Apparently, you can use it to select music. Or um, I forget the other thing. But I think I, I'm a, if the police had stopped him and hadn't stopped him for um, filming, for using the phone but you stopped him for careless driving, they might have won on that. But because they stopped him for using the phone while driving, the way it's worded by law is that it's interactive. I'm going to put the link in and I'm going to, uh, I wrote down a, a bit because it's handwritten, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to understand my writing, but I'm going to read a little bit of what I found and then you can read the whole thing with the link because I'm going to keep this one short because I've just done a very long one. OK, OK, so uh, using the law using a mobile phone while driving may have to be rewritten following a landmark high court decision. The court agreed with lawyers for a driver found guilty of using his phone to film an accident scene who argued that the word of law meant he had been wrongfully convicted. Implica this is implications for drivers found guilty of using their phone from everything from taking photos to choosing music. So all of those drivers can get their convictions overturned. I wonder if they get their penalty back, the 200 quid. And they're six, six points back on their, um, they'll be taken off their license. I tell you, when, when these people write legislation, they need to know what they're doing because they're saying with the advent of the smartphone and all of its capabilities, they have to kind of now rewrite it. It's not like it's just an ordinary phone that you speak on. And the way it's worded is that that's how it is. If you're talking to somebody, you're going to be distracted. But I would have said, if you're filming something, you're going to be distracted. I would have thought that's even worse. Anyway, um, he got it overturned. Um, using the phone versus filming. High Court has agreed that Barrett's lawyers said the act of filming did not count as using his phone under the wording of the law because under the wording of the law it's using the phone for interactive communications. Ramsey, Bar Ramsey Barretta was convicted of driving while using a handheld phone after the police spotted him filming while driving past a scene of a serious accident in Ryslip. But the activity did not come within regulation 110 and the Crown Court quashed the conviction now they're not saying now that you can go around filming accidents but what they are saying is that they need to rewrite the the, the, the wording so it covers all aspects that could constitute careless driving but for now for those of you who have got a fine and for not actually talking on the phone but for using it for something else you might get your conviction overturned peeps that's all I've got to say. Bye for now.